It is bike check week because if you saw my video last week, you know I can't ride right now because I got hurt and we'll see how long that lasts. But when you have a giant hematoma on the inside of your hip, it just makes riding difficult. But I love mountain biking and I love this sport so much. So it's a perfect time to do a bike check. I've had my Ibis Ritmo version one for exactly a year. So it's a great time to do a bike check before we do though. As always, when you watch these types of videos, remember, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, share it with somebody you love. All of that love goes a long way in helping grow the channel, which is exactly what I want to do. That being said, let's get into the bike check. Okay, so this is the Ibis Ritmo V1, the version one available from 2018 to 2020. The first Ritmo ever made. Feels like I got a 1965 Mustang that just rolled right off the line. So proud to have this, love the colorways on this. The colorways on this are black with that olive green or that olive drab and I specked it out with pops of purple which we're gonna get into in a minute. Actually, we're gonna get into it right now. I recently just got new handlebars. I got the Deity Race Point handlebars. I wanted more rise, so these are 38 millimeter rise. They have a five degree up sweep and nine degree back sweep. So far, I really like them, but I've only been able to use them one time before I got injured. Really looking forward to more time with the Deity Race Point bars. Uh, my brakes are Shimano XT um, four piston brakes. Absolutely love them. I think they gave me uh, great modulation and brakes are really, really important, obviously. You wanna make sure that they're working well and that they suit your style. So I love the uh, XT brakes, especially for piston. For my grips, I have the Ergon GE1 Evo factory grips. Now the factory grips are slightly different than the non-factory grips. They say that uh, the factory grips are a little softer. I honestly can't tell the difference, but that's just my naivete. I like them, I like them a lot. And not only are they soft um, and help um, with, with how grippy they are, but it's supposed to get your arm in the right, um, in the right shape, in the right position for uh, having wings, you know? My stem is a brand new stem, 50 millimeter deity copperhead stem. What I like about this stem is not only does it look sick and purple, but it has a 30 mil stack height on the back. And what's so important about that is if you've cut your fork or you have a fork that's been cut too short and you want just a little more rise out of your stem and where your bars are, with a small 30 mil stack height, it means you have a little more room to raise that stem up and give you um, maybe a little more comfort on your ride. My dropper post remote is a wolf tooth. Got it in purple again. Love it, love the way it feels. Has a nice tactile feel. Feels great on the thumb and um, totally recommend it, wolf tooth. I also hike and bike. And as a hiker, I love when other bikers have a bell on so you can hear them coming from so far away. So I have the Timber Bell. It's a great bell that uh, you can turn on and off with a switch so that when you're going downhill, uh, as you go downhill and hit the chatter, the bell is ringing. And then as you don't need it, you can turn the bell off. So it's a really great feature. My stem caps are made by Spank and I love them. I got some fun uh, metallic green. Y'all hear that? <laughs> Uh, as we move down the fork, my fork is a Fox Factory 36 Grip 2. This has so much adjustability on it. I can adjust the high speed and low speed rebound as well as the high speed and low speed compression. Now some people don't like all those choices and uh, to be honest with you, it's a little overwhelming but I'm glad that I have them because as I learn more about how I ride and as I improve my riding, I can really get that dialed in. Now it's nuanced and it takes some time but I'm going to put in the time to learn learn more about that so I can get the most out of my fork. In terms of my gear, I have the GX build. So I have the 10 by 50, the 12 speed, and I have a 30 tooth chain ring because honestly, I like that uh, extra help on those steep climbs. I'm not someone who loves how to climb. So whenever I can make it easier for myself, I love making it easier for myself. On my front tire, I have a Synchros mud guard, which really helps out here because when things do get muddy or things even get a little more rocky, it's nice to have that extra protection. I tricked it out with some tentacles because I'm an HP Lovecraft fan. On my top tube, I have this protected, as you can see with, um, a lot of you use the uh, AMS uh, frame protectors. This one actually comes from Jensen. And what I love about this is Jensen doesn't put their logo on every single individual piece. 
like AMS does. And I think AMS makes a great product, but I just don't need like five of their logos all over my frame. So I really love this option to just have the frame protected and have nothing else on there. Good on you, Jensen. Thanks for doing that. Now for storage, I just picked up the Ibis uh, pork chop, bone-in pork chop, vegan style. It's great because it allows me to carry all my trail tools in there. I never have to worry about if I have them or don't I have them. And uh, I'd rather have that weight on my frame than on my body, so I love the pork chop. My shock is the Float X2 shock. Just like my fork, it allows me to adjust the high speed and low speed rebound, as well as the high speed and low speed compression. It's 146 millimeters of travel. My fork is 160 millimeters of travel, so I have a lot of room there for all the kind of trails that I ride. My dropper post is a one-up dropper post, 210 millimeters. I'm six foot one, and I want to make sure I got that full stroke in my legs when I'm going uphill. So the one-up dropper post is awesome. At 210 millimeters, I have all the height I need to uh, get on those climbs, and I can just drop that seat down for all the downhill. I also use a one-up chain and bash guard. Uh, it's cool, sometimes I wanna make sure that I'm not hitting that chain ring when uh, I don't have enough clearance or I haven't judged it right, so the bash guard really, really helps. My seat is a WTB Silverado. It, uh, the Ibis Ritmo came specced with that, and it's honestly the best saddle that I've had, so I love having the WTB Silverado. As for my pedals, I'm using Crank Brothers Stamp 7. They have such a wide platform, and they work awesome with my 510 Freerider Pro shoes. They just plant on there, they don't move around. I don't ride clipless, I ride flat, so I absolutely love the Crank Brothers Stamp 7 pedals, and in purple, of course. Now my front tire is the Asagai tire. It came spec with the bike. Absolutely love it. It digs in. It's 2.5, and uh, I would not change it for a thing. It's probably saved me from a ton of washouts uh, because sometimes when your ability isn't there, the components are there for you, and uh, this tire has been great for me. Back of my bike is specced with the Minion DHR2, super popular back tire. It's 2.4 uh, in the back. I originally used an aggressor, but it wasn't for me. It broke away way too much, and so I switched the DHR2, which I absolutely um, think is perfect for my style of riding. And of course, I have to represent my favorite bike shop where I got my Ritmo from, Pro Bike Supply in Newport Beach. So that's my bike. Bike check week, always fun. I love watching the videos like this, like I said. Uh, besides riding and getting on the trails, one of the things I really love the most is just checking out what people are riding, the components that they use. I think it's so cool that mountain biking is a culture that lets us celebrate our individuality. And there's so many great brands out there now that this is probably the best time ever to be a rider. You get to express yourself, get on the trails, get with a good crew and uh, have fun on your bike. So I would love to hear what components that you're using and what bike you're riding right now. What are your favorites? What do you like? What don't you like? Leave me a comment below so that not just I can see it, but everyone else can see it. And until next week, and as always, peace and love. Say what you want, say what you will. I miss the ride, ride that I knew. All of this heaven exploding above is a beautiful mess. It's beautiful.